Daniel. Daniel, you've worked in both the formal and informal education systems, and as someone who believes education is a vital tool for positive change, how have you ensured that the syllabuses that you've used for both systems have been climate education friendly? Um, well, first of all, thank you. I hope you can hear me, and thank you so much for having me uh, on this event. It's it's a pleasure and an honor uh, to be invited, and I hope. Uh, that I'll be able to contribute something to the to to the discussion. Um, I think that when we look at um, the measuring or making sure that we're measuring uh, impact of um, uh, ESD education for sustainable development or environmental education within uh, within different systems. Um, uh, the, the, there's first of all, we need to make the decision that we're going to do that, uh, and we need to we need to uh, accept the fact that not everything that we feel in our gut as an intuition is always correct. Um, in, in many cases, we we are sure we're doing the right thing, but if we don't put the resources aside to actually, you know, measure and 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 be critical towards our own actions, um, then in many cases we won't be achieving at least the level of impact that we want uh, to achieve, and that's a state of mind. So I think that's that's one thing that we have um, to make sure. Um, we have to make sure that the content of what we're providing is is. Uh, um, that the, the context makes sense to, to to the people that we provide this in, uh, content to. So, in terms of the location, in terms of the culture, in terms of um, the, uh, the climate itself, and the, and the nature of the, of the uh, of of the audience of our of our intervention, um, I think another thing is uh, age. We need to make sure that we're providing the right um, the right content to the right um, age groups. Another thing is really to check with, for example, in informal education systems, to check with the teachers. These are the people that are supposed, for example, they, they are the people that need to um, to uh, provide this um, um, this this learning process, and you need to make sure that they understand what they're doing, that it makes sense to them, that they feel confident in teaching, uh, and so on. So I think that's. That's another area that is in very, um, very important.